hello friend welcome to our youtube channel structure design hub and this is our tutorial type tutorial series 3 and in this tutorial we will learn how to import uh, architecture or structure plan into a e tag this is very quick and fast method for a structure engineer to model complex geometry in a, in a short period of time so i i am going to open e tag 20, version 20.2 Now I will click on file, file option. Now click on new model. Here I will select use built-in setting with as uh, our uh, as our plan unit is in uh, mm. So I will keep metric aside and you can you can change uh, uh, i will keep these uh, codes and uh, and uh, still database as and same uh, you can change as per your country requirement but it should be uh, but, but display unit should be same as uh, cad file so i will i am i will keep metric as i and click on ok as you know we are not going to use grid system because we are directly importing our CAD file into a e tab so just I will select blank page and click OK I will close other window just for more clarity and again click on file new model sorry oh, cancel click on file import here you will see we have three options for importing CAD file first option is DXF slash DWG file of architecture plan this option we will this option we will use when when we wanted to import all 2d plan into a ETAB and by tracing those those plan we can model our geometry and second option is DXF file of floor plan in this option we can directly import uh, components like beams and column into a e tab and then there is no need of tracing and third option is dxf file of 3d model generally we don't use this option in a in, in during the modeling because it create low it create lot of warning and error so i will use first option dxf file dwg file of architecture plan for this we need a plan so here so here I have a plan uh, which is based on flat slab system here we have a slab edge line and we have a columns and shear walls so uh, for this I have prepared a step uh, let me show you here here are some steps which we need to follow for uh, importing CAD file in ETAP so my first step is lay ISO use lay ISO command to isolate your structure component like beam slab column and shear wall which you wanted to import so as you know here is our flat slab system so we need only columns lines slab edge lines and shear wall lines so I will use command LAY lay ISO lay ISO click enter and select those lines this is column lines and this is shear wall lines click enter and what is second step second step is now copy the absolute component and paste it into the new drawings so what I will do I will just by dragging I will select these lines and by using control C and here I will paste it into the new drawing control V here you are seeing I have all I have pasted that this plan so I will remove just these arrow I don't need this arrow so what is our third step third our third step is now by using explode command we will explode our all plan because if any part of our plan is in block form then it will not import that part of plan so it is a necessary step uh, it means that we will use explode command e x p 
l o explode and explode our lines by selecting this and click enter why we are using this command because uh, by using this command we can just uh, uh, break the all line into a single line because if if this line in a block formula then uh, it will create a problem in a e tab during the time of importing so now what we will do we will just uh, one thing should be noticed that here i have uh, selected hatch line also so we don't need to uh, we don't need to we don't need these hatch lines because uh, if any hatch line will be present in our planner then also it have it will it it will face problem while importing the importing this file so what i will i will just simply delete this hatch by using command la y la iso and click on this hatch enter and by dragging this by dragging this, i will delete this hatch and la an iso so la an iso now now we have deleted those hatch by and by using lay an iso command uh, now we our line is in visible form so uh, what is our next step next step, step is we have used explode command our next step is change all different layer of line in, into the single layer no don't use zero line and def point line so it means that we will convert all line into a single line so i'm using this layer it should be noted that we we will not use this this zero line okay it is a necessary step you can you can select all type of layer except this zero so i have selected this layer str column so so now all our lines in a become in a single single layer and also it should be noted that our all line color is in by layer should be in by layer or our 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 line weight line weight should be in by layer and our line type also should be in by by layer so so by default it is in our in it, it is in in our case it is in by layer so now what is our next step next step is now we use purge command so that we can remove unnecessary layer and item so our next step is use purge command p u r g e purge select or click okay and purge all select purge all item so by using this command we can remove unnecessary layers and items on this drawing so now what we will do our next what is our next step next step is save it into the dxf format and close the file so now we are going to save this file in a dxf format save as in a dxf you can use any any version but i am using a uh, autocad 2013 dxf format and you can change file name but now for now i am keeping same and click save and close the file it is a necessary step for closing the file now go to the etab file import the accept dwg file of architecture plan and select your plan and click ok it will ask where you want to paste so i will select story one and click ok at the current we are at story four so we will go at story one here you will see that your uh, plan is imported so uh, sometime you know what happen your line is in faded form so in in that case what you need to do you just go to the option and click on graphics mode and click on standard graphics if your line is in faded form so in my case our line is in clear 
so we don't need to that we don't need to do that step so now what we will do as yes you know our plan is import in plan is imported in in this eta file so so simply i will use draw floor slab tool and i will simply trace before tracing this uh, you should check the you should check snap option by click on draw and snap snap option and here only here you should you should you should check that uh, only this option have tick for in a joint grid intersection intelligent snaps and architecture layer okay and okay so now click on slab draw tool and simply click on edge like edge point it will not take much time it is a very very fast and quick method as you are seeing how easy easy it is <laughs> oh sorry i made a mistake i i should click at at that point let try will let try will correct it click as you are seeing uh, i have i have draw slab uh, similarly you can you can draw column by click on column uh, first you need to you need to define the property so uh, for column size uh, you can measure from the from drawings as by using command dli <coughs> enter 750 by 320 and the width of shear wall is 320 so now what we will do we will just simply define section property frame section i will select add new property and select concrete I will change only size. I will keep material same. Three twenty by seven fifty. Here I will change the size. Three fifty by three twenty. Okay. Similarly, I will create a property for wall. Wall section. Add new property. Wall. 320 mm i will keep property same here i will change thickness 320 okay and okay now by clicking on column draw tool here and from drop down menu i will select 320 by 750 and now simply by selecting center point simply you can 
draw your column like this it is a very quick method and also you can draw your wall by clicking on draw wall tool select your wall thickness and simply click here and there similarly here and there like this like by tracing this you can you can draw draw your geometry simply like this i have already draw draw the i have already draw geometry here you are see, you are you can see here is a here it is in 3d form so now our tutorial is over tutorial is over by using method 1 and uh, by using method 2 i will explain you in next video next upcoming video and if you like my videos then please subscribe share like and comment on this thank you